For many children, they're the best part of fast food. Toys like Iron Man, free with every kid's meal. But now a county in California's Silicon Valley is voting to ban restaurants from giving away toys that often come with high-calorie meals aimed at kids. The fast food restaurant spends hundreds of millions of dollars uh, marketing towards children and all you see is the kids and the toys. You don't see the, the burger, the fries and the shake you know, as part of the advertising gimmick. So they, they know exactly what they're doing by advertising these toys directly at kids and it makes these kids then pester their parents to go to a particular fast food restaurant where they can get the toy um, and not really even have any awareness of how many calories are in the meals that they'll be eating. Some people are calling this the Happy Meal ban, but actually McDonald's is not included. That's because the ban only affects areas of unincorporated Santa Clara County where there are no McDonald's. The California Restaurant Association says the ban is unfair. Fast food chains already offer healthy options for kids like fruit and milk. Some fast food customers we spoke to said the ban is just an attention-grabbing move and not a real effort to curb childhood obesity. I think it's absurd. <laughs> it's really crazy. It's, I, actually, I think it's kind of embarrassing for the county. Plus, I, I understand only uh, it only applies to the unincorporated areas. So, what was what was the point? It's it's kind of a statement, an empty statement. I think it's ridiculous. I don't think it, I don't agree with it. It's up to the parents to uh, control their children. Well, certainly we've heard a lot of criticism about uh, the nanny state and this should be a parental choice. And, uh, and I wish that that would, would be the case. Uh, but if you're going to take childhood obesity seriously, uh, then you, you realize that you, we need to do everything that we can. If the ban passes next month, it'll go into effect this summer. A restaurant could face fines up to $1,000 for repeat violations. Haven Daily, The Associated Press, San Jose, California.